rare disease challenges in each stage of the drug development process. According to the Orphan Drug Act of 1983, any disease affecting fewer than 200,000 Americans is considered rare, and similar definitions and concerns occur worldwide. Of the more than 7,000 rare diseases, fewer than 10% have FDA-approved treatments. Developing drugs for rare diseases involves special challenges and considerations. Step number one, discovery and development. Many rare diseases are still poorly understood, which makes it difficult to identify potential ways to treat the disease. Without a clear understanding of the cause and effects of the disease, it is challenging to know what might help. Even when a potential pathway to treatment has been identified, limitations on models where the therapy can be tested mean that development can be slow. Step number two, preclinical research. In the rare disease space, preclinical research is often inhibited by limited funding opportunities, interest from researchers, and limitations in the models that researchers use to predict how a compound will affect humans. Step number three, clinical research. Clinical research in rare diseases is challenging because small numbers of patients with a particular disease make it difficult to recruit enough patients to show definitively whether a therapy works. Even when patients can be found, they are geographically dispersed and may find it hard to travel while managing serious medical conditions. Many rare diseases also display great variation in how they manifest and progress, affecting different people in different ways. Many do not have well-defined and or fit-for-purpose outcome measures and biomarkers. These measures are used to demonstrate impact and effectiveness in trials. And more than half of the patients with rare diseases are children. Conducting pediatric clinical trials in rare diseases comes with its own set of challenges. Step number four, FDA review. Treatments being developed for rare diseases are called orphan drugs and FDA may exercise some flexibility in their review, such as allowing smaller clinical trials. However, drug developers still must demonstrate that these products are safe and effective, just as with any other drug. The FDA review team may have to make its decision based on relatively small studies and with a limited understanding of the natural history or progression of the disease. The reliability and quality of the data are critical for FDA decision-making. Step number five, post-market safety monitoring. After a new product is approved and available to the public, FDA continues to monitor it for any safety issues that might become apparent over time. This ongoing surveillance includes programs that allow manufacturers, medical professionals, and consumers to track and report safety concerns with approved products.